We have so many platforms today where in our youth are engaging in most of the time and spending most of their day on, which is on the smartphone, either on TikTok, either on Instagram, either on Snapchat, YouTube, or any other social media platform. This is the medium of communication today. Our whole agenda should be to promote the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to extol his virtues and to inspire humanity and our youth in particular with regards to the sunnah of Rasulullah and the character and the akhlaq of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But you've got to do it in a manner which is palatable. And today it's either 180 words you know, in terms of a text or it is in terms of a three-minute TikTok video. The children's attention span doesn't go beyond three minutes anymore. So we've got to have innovative ways of attracting the attention of our of our youth on the platforms that they are engaging in and garnering their attention by giving them a three-minute soundbite on one beautiful characteristic or one beautiful statement of the Messenger of Allah in a manner that will be palatable to them. If you're going to give that preachy type of, you know, archaic style of, you know, that the India, Indo-Pak subcontinent thing, it may not be appeal to <coughs> Generation Z. But if you come up there in the hip style or in the way that people engage in today and you can attract the attention of the youth and you can show, if I may use the word, how the Holy Prophet wasallam himself was forward thinking and he loves his ummah and he is directed towards his ummah and he's and his and his geared towards his ummah so that everybody is accessible to him and they are accessible to him sallallahu alaihi wasallam i think our youth will gravitate towards it so we need to use this platform it's critical to use these platforms today and if the youth don't understand urdu anymore so compose poems in english do it in rap i may get a rap on my knuckles for that one <laughs> <coughs> but but these are the things that attract people in, in the ghettos in America and so on. So you've got to speak to the people in the language that they understand. And moreover, slam poetry is a very big thing right now. So if these are things, are platforms which can direct you towards Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad Rasulullah, this is found in the, in the example of Hassan bin Thabit. <laughs> It's found in, in, in the poetries of other Sahaba Kiram. So we just have to adjust it accordingly. And you'll notice that there are trends. The trends that used to exist in the 80s and 90s, now they've changed. Now you'll see the Nasheeds are different, the Qasaid are different. The, the cultures uh, and the way people experience Molid, even in South Africa, it's different in Durban, it's different in Cape Town. So we've got to be ahead of these things because the whole point here is that you know we need to orient the people towards Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And once the love is genuine, it doesn't make a difference which platform you're on. That 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 energy of love will transfer.